Hi, it's Jo from Minerva. Today I'm here to do a learn to sew tutorial and get some top tips on how to do gathering. Sometimes you might just have a little area of gathering that takes in a bust shape, but sometimes you need quite a long, long area of gathering and that can be a little bit problematic. Especially if you've got to pull the threads and get past a few little joins or your fabric isn't gathering up as you would like. You'll see this technique needed on McCall 7969 to get the ruffles on the sleeves and the tears. You'll need it if you're making a gathered skirt. This is the Brumby and you're gathering in the skirt to fit into a waistband. Or you might need it to make a waistline um, that has one tier or more than one tier. It's also used for making a large cuff gather. I'm going to show you a few tips so that you can get some really successful gathering. I'm making the wardrobe by me freedom dress and I've got two tiers on my dress so I've got quite a bit of gathering here and quite a bit around the waist. The methods often shown in patterns are to do two rows of gathering stitches within the seam allowance and that's fine if you've got a really floppy fabric like this viscose because it gathers up really easily, it's got quite a close weave which sometimes catches the threads a little bit, but you shouldn't have any problems with the viscose. The technique used in most patterns, and it is the same in the Freedom Dress, is to put two rows of gathering stitches around the top of your skirt so that your skirt becomes the same width as your top. You can do this in a different colour if you want to, so that you can see the gathering threads if you need to pull any out at the end. Put your sewing machine on a long stitch and then start to add your gathering stitches without going forwards and backs, backwards at the beginning. Your first row needs to be within the seam allowance. You can try and get your second one within the seam allowance, but I found the best way to get a good gather is to do another one outside the seam allowance so that your seam line is between the two lines because that is where your fabric is gathered the best. So I'm going to add my second row but this one won't be in the seam allowance so that's where having a different coloured thread is quite useful. I'm going to use the foot to run along the edge of my first row so that I'm getting a really good straight row on that second pass. Here's my two rows of gathering stitches and of course it's already started pulling it up in some places and I'm going to pull on the bobbin threads and I'm going to tie two together so that they don't pull out completely. And I'm going to use the two on the opposite side to pull the gathers. And I'm going to gently pull the gathers. I like to sort of get to the halfway point and then pull from the other side so I don't run the risk of having too much too tight on the threads. Also, I don't want to get a really thick bunch here and then start trying to move them along because I'll be putting lots of pressure on. So as soon as I've got one lot of gather, I take that right round to where I want it. So I'm going to get that round to the halfway point. That's there. And then get a little bit more and take that to the next point. If you bunch it all up at one end, it sort of locks itself on the thread. So just take a few that are moving freely at the same time. It takes a little bit longer, but you reduce the risk of putting too much pressure on your threads and breaking them and having to start again. So when I think I've got half of my skirt gathered, the front for example, I'm going to distribute the gathers evenly. The 
and just tie a knot in the end of there not at the end close to where I'm gathering but just as a safety line and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to pull the bobbin threads of the back of my skirt separately so that I'm not trying to push my gathers round so far again a little bit at a time as soon as I get quite a bunch I want to really distribute those before I sew I want to check the inside because I want to see where my gathers are and I kept this example before I sewed it to show you so I've got the distance right between the side seam and the side seam but when I look on the inside there's lots and lots of gathers here but then there's a sort of bit of a bald patch there and a little bit of a bald patch there so now I want to work with the gathering so that I can see it and I've got the length right I'm just going to move some of those gathers around so it's more even which is why pinning vertically with the pins facing up is good because then you can work from either side of your work a little bit of bunching there a little bit bald there so we'll move some of those down and it it's not just about the distance between getting the one big piece of fabric to fit inside another gathering is part of the overall look and you need to try and get that as even as possible on the side seams I don't like to have too much gathering I like that to sort of flatten out a little bit on the sides so that I don't get a sort of little girl's dress look on my grown-up items just making sure nothing's folded down so that I end up with a big crease a little bit full here a little bit bald here just going to move that around a little bit check your machine is back to its shortest stitch not on the long gather stitch have your gathers facing up and you might also find it useful to have a little pair of tweezers just to manipulate and move along any of the gathering ridges so the place you're looking to sew is down there you can see where my stitch line is just go over it a little bit more to show you and as i was going I could just keep moving the stitches so I've got a really even gather between those two rows. From the right side I've got a really nice even gather but I have just got that stitch which is just holding it down so I'm going to pull that out and it will really release it and give a really nice finish so I'm going to pull out that last gathering thread the one that's below my stitch line and you'll see the difference it makes get this beautiful even gather because I've not got any folds or anything along that edge so that's uh, a gathering method with two rows of running stitches another method you can use for uh, gathering fabric is to use a cord so you zigzag a cord around the area you want to gather and then you pull the cord rather than pulling the threads and this is really useful if you're pulling up a thicker fabric so when I made my Brumby skirt I used quite a thick linen and so I used this method so that my threads that were lighter than the weight of my fabric didn't snap as I was pulling it through. I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to use it to uh, gather the final tier for my freedom dress. 
So I have a piece of Roman blind cord, which is um, nylon and really, really shiny. So you could use a cotton, a piece of pearl cotton, crochet cotton, or a nylon sort of uh, knitting wool or something, a cord or something that's quite shiny because that's the thing you want um, to run your stitches along. I'm going to hold the cord against the fabric and I've got my zip machine on a zigzag, the largest width and the largest length. And I'm going to zigzag over the cord. So this is what it looks like. Your cord is in a zigzag channel and when you pull your cord, your zigzags will all gather up. But I, I, I'm not under any stress now for the thread to break at all because I'm pulling on this really thick nylon cord instead of on my lighter uh, polyester threads or cotton threads. So you can adjust them a little bit more easily as well. You can get a, quite a tight gather with those. And you can also do two rows if you want to as well. This is for my tier, so I'm going to do one row. This is for a tier on a skirt. So I'm going to sew really close to the edge of there with my straight stitch. And then my cord will eventually pull out and I'll wrap it up ready for when I want to use it again. So that's a different method for gathering, which if you're getting lots of breakage is a much more successful way of pulling stronger fabric together. So there we are. There are two methods for gathering. The one with the double row of stitches and you sew in the channel in the middle. And the other way is with the cord where you can pull much stronger fabrics and really get a thick, thick gather. I hope that's helped you, um, especially if you're making tiered dresses or peplum tops. It's a great to have two techniques to draw upon. Thank you very much for watching. Do come back for more Learn to Sew tutorials soon.